Yo, guys, the Modern Warfare 2 Mastery Camos just dropped, and they are looking amazing. I'm on the wrong page, I just realized. <laughs> we got a lot of really awesome stuff going on with Modern Warfare 2 that I'm going to be talking about, but we're going to be starting with the Mastery Camos. Charlotte Intelligence has provided us with the four camos that we're going to be going for in this game. It's Gold, Platinum, Polyatomic, and Orion. And I'm not just going to tease you guys with the names of the camos. We have actual pictures right here. Going to start here with Gold on the M4. It looks super clean. Looking pretty spoinkly so far. Next up, we've got Platinum Camo, which you'll get for getting Gold, I think, on all of the weapons in a category like we've seen before which by the way it seems like camos are going to be working in a completely different way in modern warfare 2 but we'll be going over that in a sec i do want to mention though that there's apparently a 180 plus base camos in modern warfare 2 this next one is polyatomic what's it called dark sky camo in infinite warfare i think that's what this looks like the most to me kind of got this whole hexagonal pattern thing going on it makes me think a little bit of like the original dm ultra from black ops 3 at least in terms of the colors hoping that these camos are animated i don't know if infinity ward gave us that information but they definitely should be. And lastly, guys, we have our final camo here. This is Orion camo, which I believe you get for unlocking polyatomic on every gun in the game. I think Charlie has a breakdown that explains exactly how you get these camos. We'll go over that in a second, but I wanted to point something out. Charlie even said in this tweet that these are newer images of the mastery camos because we were given different ones before. And Raid said here that the other picks looks like they mix the camos. Is this going to be like a new feature? As you can see here, we have a clear mix of gold and platinum camo, which looks pretty neat. And we also have this picture, which shows a combination of polyatomic camo and Orion camo. Now, in fairness, I haven't looked super in depth on this, and even Infinity Ward said that things could be subject to change, but someone replied here saying that it's already confirmed that you can use multiple camos on a weapon. If that really is the case, then this is going to be pretty cool, because you'll be able to mix any four of these mastery camos together to make something more unique. I like this a lot! Yeah, so here's the tweet from Charlie. It's talking about how the camo experience is more streamlined. It kind of seems like the way that you'll get these camos unlocked is just like previous games, like you have to get the weapon leveled up to a certain amount before you can start doing certain camo challenges. We already know that. But here we actually have a picture of the in-game mastery camo unlocks for like the FTAC recon. Unlock gold camo, you have to get 100 kills while using gold camo, and I think from there, then you unlock platinum camo, and you just have to keep getting kills with the gun that has the camo on it. Yeah, and you can see it go from gold to platinum to polyatomic to Orion mastery. Now, once you get Orion camo for every single gun, we don't know if you're gonna get something special. My guess would probably be that you'll get obsidian for every single gun, but it could be something completely different. As of now, this is the only screenshot and proof that we have, and it looks like when you complete all of the mastery challenges for a gun, you're just gonna get a weapon charm, which is kind of disappointing. And I'm pretty sure you guys will agree with me on this, but I think when you get Orion camo for every single gun, you should get something special, like something hidden and secret unlocked for doing that. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Here's the full details on weapon camos. So the way it's going to work is that there's basically two different types of camos. There's a base camo. Any weapon can equip a base camo once unlocked via a specific weapons base camo challenge. In other words, base camos are universally unlocked across all weapons by completing a challenge on the road to a weapons first mastery camo. There will be a 180 plus unique base camos available at launch with more to be added with each new weapon that comes in post-launch seasons. And then there's the mastery camos. These are unlocked for only a specific weapon and have four unique designs, gold, platinum, polyatomic, and Orion. The gold camo challenge for each weapon is available once all of its base camo challenges are completed. The platinum camo challenge for each weapon is available once gold camo is unlocked across a minimum number of weapons in each category. The polyatomic camo challenge for each weapon is available once the platinum camo is unlocked across a minimum of 51 weapons. And then finally, the Orion camo is is a reward for unlocking polyatomic camo across a minimum of 51 weapons. It is also automatically granted on every weapon that earns the Orion camo past its minimum requirement. Each mastery camo is also tied to an additional challenge required for weapon mastery on each weapon, which can be done in parallel with the camo challenge journey detail below. This is definitely very different than how things have been done in the past for camo challenges in Call of Duty, and I'm really curious to see how it's all going to play out in Modern Warfare 2. There's also a couple other smaller things I wanted to dive into as well. Apparently on Xbox, if you switch your region to New Zealand, you'll be able to play the game before for anyone else. I weirdly remember doing this a long time ago with Advanced Warfare on Xbox One. So yeah, if you plan on getting Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox One or Xbox Series X, you'll be able to play as early as 7 a.m. Eastern Time on the 27th. I'm only really getting and buying the game on PC and PlayStation, so I don't think I'll necessarily be doing that. But if you're watching this video on the 27th, I should still be streaming Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, which is gonna be like midnight. Gonna be streaming live on YouTube, so definitely check out the stream if you have the time. It's gonna be freaking lit! Woo! I cannot wait for this game and Slurry Bone. Data miners have already found references of anime camos in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> really curious to see if the base camos are going to be anime camos or if you're going to have to buy them in bundles like we have done before. Pretty sure you're going to have to buy them. We got a first look at this new feature in Modern Warfare 2 called weapon tuning. Really, it looks more like attachment tuning, but I, I don't know. Basically, you can take an attachment like this Edge 47 grip and you can change the different statisticals to make 
different things. I'm doing a great job of explaining that. Dude, what I'm really curious to see is like when you're going to make your attachments on Modern Warfare 2, if you could take something like a long barrel, you could just like make it extra long, but then it's gonna like slow you down a lot. Or if you can extend the girth to allow for larger bullets to pass through. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but what I'm really hoping for here in Modern Warfare 2 is that we'll be able to make some ridiculous like cursed gun builds and have some really broken like weapons and stuff. That just sounds hilarious to me. I don't know exactly how far we'll be able to push a system like this, but I hope that we can. Unfortunately, we are still gonna have level 55 as like the cap and then there's going to be seasonal ranks and progression and stuff. I'm not exactly sure who actually likes this system. I think a lot of people do prefer classic prestige, but I mean, I'm still going to be playing the game, so it's whatever. I'm not too bothered by it, but I would like to see classic prestige coming back to Call of Duty at some point. Okay, but lastly, I wanted to share this update with you guys because I thought this was actually bigger than anything that has been announced today. This tweet from Charlie says that Infinity Ward has shared an update on changes they've made to Modern Warfare 2 from beta to launch. Visibility updates, audio changes, some adjustments to reduce lobby disbanding, and more. Now, to be perfectly honest, I've already read through all of this and went through it, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I think this news is actually really awesome. I do think that Infinity Ward is still going to do the classic double down and they're going to not change certain things or they're not going to be transparent fully about certain things in the game. <coughs> but these changes that they're talking about coming from the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer beta are actually really good. For enemy visibility, it says that they have added diamond icons above the heads of enemies. This should make it easier for players to clearly identify opponents in the game. Additionally, they have continued to tweak lighting and contrast for improved enemy visibility. Next up, we have some audio changes it says that they've shortened the overall range of footstep audio which will allow enemy players to get closer to targets before they are able to detect footsteps they have also continued to tweak teammate footstep audio which will now be quieter following feedback from the beta and the in-world activation sound effect volume range for the dead silence field upgrade has been drastically decreased i like both of these changes i mean this is like a direct result of the feedback that i provided in my video same thing goes for enemy visibility i mean i talked about all of these issues so this is really cool next up we have some feedback for third person it says that following feedback from the beta aiming down sights will now stay in third person point of view for low zoom optics only high zoom optics beginning with the ACOG sight and higher and special optics such as hybrids and thermals will revert to first person point of view we believe this will enhance the third person experience while keeping the gameplay balanced. The feedback on this mode has been very positive and we will continue to explore its use as a modifier. Dude, I love this. They're basically going back to OG Modern Warfare 2 third person where you mostly stay in third person when you're playing the game, but if you use specific attachments or weapons, you will go into first person. Now, if you're someone who didn't play the original Modern Warfare 2 third person mode or you don't really play too many third person games anyway, the reason why this is actually a very good change is because if you're someone who's using lower zoom optics or even just iron sights on the gun, guns, you kind of want to be moving around faster. You don't want to be aiming down sights for too long. And that's what was kind of weird about how things were implemented in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, because basically what would happen is you could hear people's feet and you had better visibility, but you would still find yourself going into first person and ADSing no matter what gun you had. With this change that only allows you to go into first person ADS with higher zoom optics, that's only going to reward people who are trying to get those longer range gunfights. Because if you guys have played enough third person shooting games, you already know that if someone has like a shotgun or an SMG and they're trying to run and gun up close in third person, they should have an easier time against someone who might be trying to go full first person ADS with like a sniper scope. So in a nutshell, the new Modern Warfare 2 third person mode should play more like the original one. Definitely hype for that. Next up, we have a section for weapons that says that they have continued to tweak weapons across the game following both feedback from beta players and game data. Players can expect more specifics on weapon tuning as we continue to support post launch. So nothing too specific there, but I'm sure it has to do with weapon balancing. It wouldn't necessarily surprise me if we saw a slight nerf to the AK-74 for you in the mp5 because they were so good in the beta but next up this is a pretty nice one as well we have some changes to the ui it says that they have been working hard on numerous updates to their ui that make accessing and customizing your loadout more seamless they've made improvements on navigation of the menus and will continue to optimize the ui just in case you guys didn't know apparently there were people who worked on hulu's ui that actually made this ui and there were tons of complaints but hopefully moving into the full game for modern warfare 2 this will be easier to navigate infinity ward also made some changes to the movement it says that slide ledge hang and dive have been further refined. They've also addressed some movement exploits following the beta. I'm sure this has to do with slide canceling. People were still weaseling their way around trying to slide cancel in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, and I'm pretty sure Infinity Ward does not want that to be in the full game. I've already talked about this before. Personally, I'm kind of indifferent about slide canceling. I know that a lot of other people like to do it, but you need to be aware that it is a movement exploit, and they can fix it at any time. Since I don't personally slide cancel, this isn't going to affect me in any way, so. But lastly, we do have an update on matchmaking. It says that they have implemented some changes that aim to reduce lobby disbandment between matches. 
They look forward to testing this at a large scale and getting feedback. This is what we should really be excited about because so many people have complaints about not being able to stay in the same lobby and chat with people or, you know, even trash talk the same people. It sounds like this change is going to try to keep people together after matches a little bit more than it has before, which, I mean, before it was non-existent. With skill-based matchmaking and all of that stuff, I mean, lobby disbanding was like the most common thing. I think they realize that we actually want to stay together in some matches and still talk to the same people. So yeah, I do like this change. But to be fair, I am a little skeptical about about how well this is going to work and how many lobbies are actually going to stay together in the full game. We'll have to wait and see. This just got tweeted at me. I I, I don't even know. Roll Reggie. I can't slide cancel. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to launch some Modern Warfare 2. We're going to play right now. Your data is corrupt or didn't download properly. You must reset your ranks and unlocks to continue. What? No, I don't want to do that. What? I don't have any ranks anyway. <laughs> oh my. What? What is this? I'm in the war zone. <laughs> Dude, is this Modern Oh no, it's gone. Okay. I have no clue what that was. Wait, restart require? Wait, what? Why? I've, I've already played the campaign. Psst. Yeah, I think we left off on the Amsterdam mission doing the realistic difficulty. But yeah, what do you guys think about all of the changes to Modern Warfare 2 coming from the beta? And what do you think about the mastery camos in the game? I actually think they look really good. And I think the feature where you can combine multiple camos together is really awesome. As I'm sure you guys know, I did not go for any of the mastery camos in Vanguard because that game is complete dookie. But I think I might actually go for the mastery camos in Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, while well, I'm doing a little bit of the realism campaign on Modern Warfare 2, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for the support on the last video. After your guys' feedback on the last video, I'm definitely going to do a re-upload of Rip Vanguard with some different, uh, like, edits and cuts here and there. It genuinely makes me so happy that you guys are okay with me re-uploading the video so that way you can support it. So that way all of that hard work does not go to waste. I mean, that is just so fucking awesome. Get the fuck back. Oh, I should not have done that. That was the bad move. That was a bad move. What? I was not supposed to do that. Dude, how do you survive this part? What the f- So yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to the re-upload of Rip Vanguard if you weren't able to actually see it before because of the whole age restriction. This is fucking impossible! And since you guys have my back, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have your back as well. Code Merc is 30% off of G Fuel for the rest of the month. And on top of that as well, the limited edition Boostober merch is not going to be sold after October 31st. So I wanted to let you guys know that I have a temporary discount code. You can use Pumpkin10 for 10% off. If you go to the Teespring website, it should just automatically show or like apply the discount. So yeah. I'm actually stuck at this part in the mission. Like the cartel just instantly kills me before I can do anything. Like what the fuck? I can't do anything right, and if I do kill them, I end up accidentally shooting a civilian. So look, I blep this guy, cool. Blep him, he's done. I kill him. Now what? Where are you? I should not even be getting this mad at this section. I mean, it's not even difficult. You just have to memorize who you have to kill and who you don't. Some of these guys are so unrendered and ugly, it's ridiculous. Like, look at this guy, he doesn't have a face. I'm trying to cover, bro. He's like way out there. Just run. Come on, you're good, you're good. There's still more, but I'm not doing- No, okay. Come on, quick. Get jabbed. There were only three people to kill, but there are still people in the distance trying to shoot you. You just don't peek them. Come on, let me skip the cutscenes. I've already seen them all. Whoo, that was a close one. Get the fuck out of my yard! I love this every single time. I will shoot you if I have to. No, you won't. Oh, I wanted to jump past him. I can't sprint, though. Hard to tell you boys apart from cartel. Where's your suspect? I want his pistol. Give me the boom! Forgot that that happens. <laughs> Bro, what? Oh, come on, what? Alejandro! Clear! I think. Are we good? No, we're not. We're not. What? I actually can't believe this. Look at all those bullets missing. Are you shitting me? Dude! Is it safe? Okay, I guess it's safe. <laughs> Ooh, what? Guillermo, policia! Oof. I know you're here. You're done. That's so crazy how she surrendered, but then tried to go for the gun again. What you doing, bro? Wow, camp in the stairs. What a surprise. Alright, well, I already know you're in the last one. I've done this before. I remember that. And he escaped. Wait, no, wait, what? No! Skip the cutscene. I already know what happens. We need to capture Hassan and bring him in for interrogation. Hassan! I think we need to kill General Sheepard. <laughs> Dude, I'm way too hyper. I'm so hyped for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. If I've got the time, I'll try to beat Modern Warfare 2 on realism difficulty. Like the entire campaign. I've just done some of them so far. Like the first five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I got a lot more to go. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me cover the mastery camos for Modern Warfare 2 along with some other updates. If you guys did enjoy this video and you're excited for the full release of Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Tranquil.